Hello, my friend. It's your certified health coach, Caroline Jordan, here to bring you a special 10 minute follow along routine crafted specifically for those managing osteoporosis. I'm here to help you take care of your bone health and build strength in your upper body. Whether you're new to exercise or a seasoned pro, join me in this efficient and effective workout that you can do all from the comfort of your own home. And of course, if you're loving this workout and want the full length strength workout for osteoporosis, head on over to my Patreon page where you'll find exclusive access to longer videos, my follow along fitness calendar, and more. You can join us today at patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness to get started. Are you ready to buff up your upper body while you improve your bone health? Grab a set of light weights or water bottles, a chair, and a positive attitude, and let's do this together. Your well-being is a priority, so let's make every moment count. Have your weights on your chair ready to go, and let's dive into this upper body workout together. Our first move is a warm-up exercise to lubricate your joints and get you excited for the workout ahead. Reach your arms forward, and we'll begin with arm jumping jacks. So you'll open and close your arms in a nice big arm jack, out and in. This helps to open up the shoulders and chest and just raise your body temperature for when we pick up our weights. We are working it all in this routine today, from your back to your biceps, chest, triceps, shoulders, not a single upper body muscle will be left unnoticed. We cover it all. So if you're short on time and you need a quick routine to help you improve your bone health and buff up your upper body, this is it, my friend. Let your arms swing open and close. And put a big smile on your face. Proud of you for being here and showing up for your health. Good, relax. Let's move to our chair. You need one or two weights. We're using the chair to help support us here for a bent over row. Hand on the chair, opposite hand off the chair. Nice long spine and from here, you're going to row your elbow up and down. So I want you to bring your hand to your hip pocket, squeezing your back muscles. This is an excellent move to help support our posture. So many people worry about rounding forward, but if you keep your upper back and your back strong and healthy, it will enable you to stand up taller. So keep your spine long here, breathe. Abs are nice and tight. And if you feel like you want more resistance, choose to pick up a heavier weight. Are you breathing? Good job. From here, we're just going to switch to our second side. So you'll come on over, hand goes on the chair, working against gravity, nice long spine, tummy is tight, and we're just going to row that hand to our hip pocket, squeeze and lower. I want you to get as much range of motion in this exercise as possible. Don't shortchange yourself. Really lengthen the arm and row. Strong back. Working against gravity will really help you try to isolate those back muscles, feel all the things you want to work, work for you. As you practice this routine, the more comfortable you'll get with each move. And then you can add heavier weight as you progress. Good, relax. Have a seat on your chair. You'll need two dumbbells for this. We're going to sit up nice and tall, palms forward or palms in, your call. We're going into a bicep curl. So when you're ready, you're just going to bring your hands all the way to your shoulders and back down. Now, many people ask if there is a preferred bicep curl, if you want palms up or palms in. The palms up option works the shorter head of the bicep and the palms in option works the longer head of the bicep. So choose one that feels right for you today and you can always change your mind every time you use the video. Good, abs are nice and tight. We're breathing here. So we're getting our back 
and our biceps in our first few exercises. Good, relax. Let's work on our shoulders. So sitting again, you're going to bring your hands up towards your shoulders. Abs are nice and tight, keep your ribs down. When you hear the bell, we're just going to press the weights over our head and back down. Are you ready? Here we go. Up and down. I think sitting makes this harder because you can't use your lower body to help you. You really are just isolating your upper body. So, good luck. We're getting strong together, aren't we? Yes, beautiful job. Really press up and down. You're doing great. Raise the roof. Up and out. Whew. I feel this. This is a great exercise. Relax. Nice job. From here, I want you to bring your elbows in and you're holding a 90 degree angle with your arms. When you hear the bell, we're just going to rotate our arms open and close. So you have this position here, open up and in. You'll see this exercise in many of my other upper body workouts. I have a lot of arm workouts on this channel that many of the Patreon members have supported me in creating, so thank you. It's a great exercise to strengthen our scapula. You're also working your biceps. Mm -hmm. Got it all here. Our next move will transition down to the floor for some chest and back work. Good job. Good, relax. So weights down. You're going to move your chair out of the way and come on down to the ground. So our exercise next is a chest press. You'll lay on the floor and you're going to bring your arms like you're doing a push-up, but you're laying on your back. From here, press your arms over your head and lower back down. So working the chest here, getting a nice, strong position by laying down on the mat and really supporting ourselves. <sighs> Breathing. I just wanna say I'm so proud of you for finding movement medicine that supports you. Strength training is so beneficial for osteoporosis and it's important to be consistent. So don't just do this video once. Be regular with your strength training and you'll see big benefits. Good, relax. We're going into a skull pressure next. So you'll reach your arms up and from here you're just going to bend from your elbow and extend from your elbow. So. What's going to happen is the weights are coming down towards your head and then you'll straighten your arms. So we bend and straighten. You're only bending from your elbow. You should feel a stretch in the back of your arm and you should feel your triceps. You know why it's called skull crusher now because I mean, don't drop those weights. <laughs> no one needs a headache. <laughs> Good job. Keep breathing. I love a good skull crusher. <laughs> oh yes, let's go. Doing so good today. All right, two more moves. No weights needed for this next exercise. Lay on your belly. We're going into a back extension. So you'll lay all the way down. Your hands are by your sides. You're gonna press your hips into the mat. And from here, all I want you to do is lift up and lower down. So I want you to actually think about sending your head forward, squeeze your back muscles and lower. Now your back muscles really are gonna help your posture. So it doesn't matter how high you go. Just think about squeezing back muscles, shoulders back and hips press into the mat. So lengthening up and lower down. 
This is such a good core strengthener also. Oh yes. Keep breathing. I know it's hard to breathe when you're laying on your belly. All right, my friend, last move. We're going into a forearm plank. So, forearms on the mat. You can take this on your knees or tuck your toes. When you hear the bell, you've got 45 seconds. Ready, set, and go. Now, you're probably thinking, Caroline, this is an upper body workout. Why is a plank in this video? I thought this was all for my upper body. Well, the plank works your upper body, your shoulders, your chest, your back. Squeeze your butt, pull your tummy in tight. And again, if you need to drop to your knees, do it, no sweat. Stay with it and breathe. Oh yes. You're doing so great today. You gonna hang with me for the last 10 seconds of this plank? Yes you are, that's the attitude. Whew. I want you to believe in yourself and know that you're stronger than any obstacle. Good, relax. Take a moment, sit yourself back into a child's pose. Feel a nice stretch through your shoulders and chest. Come on up. Big shoulder circle, inhale. And exhale. Great job on that 10 minute upper body workout. I'm your coach, Caroline Jordan, and I'm so proud of you for being here. Keep up with the exercise as it's so beneficial for your bone and your overall health. I can't wait for our next workout together soon. If you want the full length version, don't forget to join us on Patreon at patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness. Great job, my friend, and I'll see you next time.